All right. What's happening? <laughs> hey everyone, it's T. I'm doing something completely on a whim. Can you tell by the fact that I am standing right now and not sitting? I recently went thrifting and I got a couple things. I might do like a thrift haul or whatever, but uh, one thing in particular kind of struck me with inspiration. Yeah, okay, let me just go get it. I saw this like pop of color and I was like, hmm, that's interesting. And then I pulled it out and I just, I just kept pulling like all this, all this fabric. So I got this kind of mermaid skirt. It looks like it was probably like part of a two piece set for prom. It's very long. It's very pink and I bought it without thinking about it, which is not a good thing to do. Don't, don't be like me. But I was thinking after kind of marveling at the uh, length and impracticality of it, I could make it into an equally impractical, but also very pretty, selkie style princessy puff dress. I thought, why not make my own some kind of similar thing, maybe with a twist, who knows? I don't know if I'll have time for that. I just decided to do this today. I have to look up a couple things. Honestly, this might have been handmade. It really smells like perfume. I washed it, it still smells like someone's perfume. It was $7, incredible. My plan is kind of to make a pattern by myself, mostly because I'm not good at patterns. Uh, I'm gonna make the sleeves first, just because I'm not sure if I have enough fabric for both the sleeves and the bodice. And then I was thinking that I could use this over shirt thing that I have as the basis for the bodice, just because I hate patterns. So yeah, let's get to it. <laughs> So I thought the sleeves would be my biggest challenge. I've done puff sleeves and cap sleeves before, but never in a large voluminous way. I ended up using a similar method to half soybean on YouTube. I'll link the video down below. I pretty much eye matched the technique used in that video, half because I knew it would turn out fine if I got just the rough shape, and half because I was already dumb with making a pattern once I put the paper on the ground. I did measure a little wider for good measure, so it would be about 78 centimeters wide and 58 centimeters long. Before cutting out the sleeves, I wanted to see how much fabric I was working with, so I used the good old fingertip test to estimate, then measured how far that was from the waistband. I knew that this dress would be fairly short, so I knew that I would have a lot to work with if I cut off that amount of length. I used my water bottle as an impromptu fabric weight because this fabric slips and slides everywhere. Around this time, I realized that I lost both of my seam rippers. So this entire vlog, I've been just using my giant fabric scissors to rip my seams. Um, in doing so, I sliced open my finger, which you will see the Pokemon Band-Aid in the next clip. I only used one or two layers of tulle for the sleeves because I didn't want to weigh them down. I didn't film sewing the sleeves because it's pretty boring and self-explanatory, but I did add channels to both seams to slip the elastic in because that's the only way I really know how to make puff sleeves well. I measured the widest part of the old guns to be about 27 centimeters. Then I cut my elastic to be slightly less than that. All right, uh, I'm shiny. Ignore that. So we have one sleeve. <laughs> Done. That's what I did in two hours. I mean, I guess I cut all the fabric, but there's, you know. I just realized that I've run out of pretty much everything. The pink thread that I'm using is uh, my grandmother's. <laughs> uh, and so it is at least 30, 40 years old. Uh, it keeps breaking, so I need to get more of that. Um, I don't have any more elastic, or I have a little bit, but not enough to finish the next sleeve. I'll probably need a zipper. And if I get that, then I'm going to need a zipper foot because I have no idea where my zipper foot is. You know, this is what you what happens when you just decide to sew one day, I guess. But I guess I will see you tomorrow. Okay, so the hem was chaos. This is what happens when you just kind of try to eye it and cut willy-nilly. I swear when I get a dress form, it'll be over. I'll be set for life. Regardless, this was the best I could do to try and make it even. I then spent a good like three hours to pin all the layers up and around evenly, and I will not show that for the sake of my own sense of pride. I also did use that overshirt I showed as a basis for the bodice. I didn't want to waste paper, so I made the front and back kind of modular. I just had to cut out the back first and then the front, right? Right? 
<laughs> Wrong! Well, I'm not sure if I mentioned this before, but I was planning to put a zipper in the back. Are you seeing my problem yet? Let's move on. I sewed all the layers of fabric right sides together, turned them inside out, ironed them, and somehow had a lined bodice. Who knew? This fabric is hell to iron, by the way. If you see something and you're like, oh, you should have ironed that. Well, I tried. I sewed the front and back sides of the bodice together, sewed those to the skirt, and then I realized, wait, I can't get this over my hips. <laughs> there was supposed to be a zipper in the back. Oh no. What am I, some kind of Barbie doll? I didn't leave enough seam allowance for there to be a zipper anymore, so I had to pivot completely. All right, it is a new day. Um, ignore this crazy hem, I'm still hemming it. But it's basically kind of done, not really. I'm not showing you the back because it's awful. It like fits, but I put snaps in it. And so like, anytime I like just move my shoulders that they, they pop out because they're cheap snaps so i might do something else with that i was thinking lace or something like that but that would require another trip to joanne and i know they're tired of me i'm sorry regardless <laughs> i need to hem it i need to figure out the back hopefully it'll be done the hem is bubbly because it's literally being held up by pins and nothing else ignore everything that's behind me also i like it it's very it's much more low cut than i thought it would be but you know, it covers, it covers things. So like, who cares? Yeah, I will see you when it's done. So in trying to salvage the back of the bodice, I cut it apart, sewed the ends closed and tried various things. I mentioned the snaps that kept on snapping. I also tried making my own corset lace loops, which was a good idea in theory, but like massively flawed and wonky in practice. In the end, I decided on something much simpler. Um, so let's, head to the end of the video. So this is the finished product. She's short. <laughs> yeah, I think I achieved it. It was pretty, I want to say easy silhouette just because I had something to like go off of. And I also already know how to do like puff sleeves and stuff like that. It's been basically something that I've been doing for years for cosplay. But, but yeah, it was a fun little redo into something that I actually wear. The hem is a mess. Please don't look too closely at that. I think if I was going to do this again, I would definitely have to remember that I want to put a zipper in it. So I should probably put in some seam allowance for that zipper. I don't know if I said it in the voiceover, but the back, I just ended up making some extra fabric to make some like strap ribbon kind of things that I could sew, uh, tie into bows. They're okay. Uh, when you look at them from a certain angle, they're okay. With what I had in the moment without like sewing an extra pa panel of shearing or something like that, it was necessary me and my me and my big broad shoulders but yeah that's all i have for this video yeah you can feel free to roast this dress in the comments below but also i feel like you know you have something that you are aspiring to some some kind of like silhouette or style or something like that why not just go to the thrift store and see if you can find something similar and then just like chop it up and <laughs> make something make something that you like you know that's my personal style philosophy anyway. Uh, if you like this video, make sure to like it, subscribe if you want, comment if you like it. Catch you next time. Thanks.